Well, Tom, first up, uh, Mail de Biv, uh, not running scared of Sprinter Sacra, going to take him on in the champion chase. Obviously, um, Sprinter Sacra is a t facing an enormous task taking him on, but someone's got to run against him, and we are looking at uphill struggle. But he's a horse who's got top form in France and is highly exciting. Um, what he showed us at Newbury over probably a distance was a bit too far, and he hadn't actually had a race for two years, so he's come out of it well and he's fit and ready to go. Were you taken aback by that performance at Newbury? Well, he, he's shown us an enormous amount at home and his jumping has been very good as well. He's got a very, very high cruising speed, just probably got his distances a bit wrong. Sometimes the form in France doesn't add up. Um, well, the form does, but the distances they race over in France doesn't always add up to what you should be doing here. But he's in the Ryanair as well, so we've got to just make a decision nearer the time. But there's a possibility we'll go for the two-mile option. And you said he'd come on enormously for the run. Has he done so? Has he been pleased with what he's shown you at home? Yeah, he's um, physically he's a very big horse. He hadn't actually had a proper race for the best part of two and a half years, having had the be you know some of the best form in France. And he's just it's really put him right. And he's, he's now just keeping him ticking along, and I think he's ready to show his best. The ex Laurent VL trained module, a winner in France and a two time winner in the UK for Tom George, that has the lead now. Coming module. To the Prone to the odd jumping mistake, but not done a lot wrong this year. Yeah, module came here as a hurdler last season. His only start over hurdles in England, he won at Cheltenham over two miles. And then he started his novice chase career at Exeter, but unfortunately he had a fall. But hopefully he's put all that behind him. Won his last two races very nicely. And he has one on testing ground. Would he want plenty of rain between now and now and the festival? I, I don't think it worries him too much. He, he'll go on most ground. Um, good soft, soft ground. I don't think it's a problem for him. And the fact he has track form, albeit over hurdles, certainly a positive. Yeah, and he's what's good about him is he's actually won over two miles, but he, he's a stayer as well. So he shows up with a class that you've got speed for two miles, but you'll see at a distance with it. Popped over at six lengths clear. Charlie Post looks around to see where Richo is in the society man to see if he's safe for second but kept right up to his work here module looks a promising horse and will no doubt have bigger fish to fry after this win in the human league 6th of july novices chase driven out by paddy brennan 52nd winner of the season for paddy and you've got a couple of horses rody and majala fairly prominent in the betting for the grand annual yeah um rosie's um has been a revelation this season um well documented he lives out in the field now he had a lot of problems last year coughing and allergies very allergic horse and seems to really got the hang of things and won his last two races well the form's absolutely rock solid and he gets in there off a nice way to 10-4. And Majala? Majala, we haven't decided which route we're going to take with him. He's in the Grand Annual and the um, Arkel. Quite a hard horse to evaluate. Well, his form's good. He can't have done more than he's done winning his three out of three this season. Um, but the other option is wait for Aintree with him. Haven't decided. I think he, li he likes the soft ground. So just going to wait and see what the ground does and make a decision nearer the time. In recent win Canton winner Chartres got a, a number of options. Chartres seems to be really improving now, he loves jumping and he's got quite a few options. The JLT was our number one preference but I don't know if he'll definitely get in it so if, if not Kim Yule probably looks like the most likely but I'll speak to his owner Mr Brookhouse and make a decision nearer the time I would have thought. And what about Parsnip Pete, another one of the few options? Parsnip Pete's got a couple, more than likely a novice handicap with him I would have thought won his first two races and then got stuck on the soft ground at Wing Canton, but we had to get a run into him, so hopefully he can put that behind them and get back onto winning ways. And God's Own? God's Own, very exciting horse. He won't get into the, um, the Martin Pike um, hurdle, so he will be going to Sandown uh, for the EBS National Hunt Novice Hurdle final on Saturday before Cheltenham. Yards to go, the race is safely his, and it's God's own then. And Paddy Brennan win it well. Home in second place is Roman Fl and Alofi. Alofi um, is going to come running the county hurdle. He showed he loves the course. Put last run at Ascot on very heavy ground. I don't think he enjoyed going right handed or the very sticky ground. So we freshened him up, and we know he goes well fresh and likes the course. So come back here again, trying to win another big one with him, like he did earlier in the season. Crackaway Jack seems to have been around forever. He's still only nine. Um, is he going to be coming back here? Crackaway Jack's a horse who's probably got as good a form there is over three miles a season behind Big Bucks in second, Tidal Bay and Oscar Whiskey. Um, doesn't really see the three miles out properly. The handicap has dropped him a few pounds even though he's been winning his prize money. I'm going to put him in the Coral Cup where I think he'll really enjoy the two, two miles five, strong pace and 
riding patient and he should go well. And finally, just looking at your Cheltenham team as a whole, what's the uh, best chance of a Tom George trained winner at the festival? It's hard to know. Probably the one which um, stands out to me is Module. I think probably in the juice and obviously it's going to be a tough race, but he's definitely a horse with a lot of talent and a horse I think everyone should hear about a bit more about in the future.